To get a sense of just how deep trenches are, if we take the height of Mount Everest, we would still have about a mile of water above us before we get to the ocean surface. The Mariana Trench, a vast silent gulch on our planet, has held its breath for eons, guarding an ancient secret. Now, Google AI has ripped away that veil, unearthing a reality so profound, so utterly not good, it will shake your very understanding of the natural world. Scientists will be going, wow, we found something, and what does it mean? Is it a little hole? Is it a big hole? What kind of feature is it down there? This isn't merely about discovering new life forms at 13,500 feet below the surface. This is about an underlying structure, a pattern, a presence that humanity has overlooked for centuries. You see, the deepest mystery is solved, and its implications are truly horrifying. Google AI's horrifying discovery. This isn't a tale of wondrous new creatures, though the trench is certainly home to some of the most bizarre life forms on Earth. We're talking about discoveries that go far beyond biology, touching on geology, physics, and even an unsettling implication for the future of our planet. Google's advanced AI, named DeepScan, was deployed as part of a multinational deep sea exploration project. Its mission, to process and analyze the enormous amounts of data collected by autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUVs, capable of withstanding pressures exceeding 16,000 pounds per square inch. To put it mildly, that's like having 50 jumbo jets stacked on top of you. No human-operated submarine could endure such force for long, and the sheer volume of sonar, seismic, and environmental sensor data was far too much for human researchers to sift through effectively. DeepScan was designed to find patterns, anomalies, and structures that might otherwise be missed. The initial findings from DeepScan were astounding, even before the truly concerning revelations. The AI mapped geological features with a precision never before achieved. It identified vast, previously unknown hydrothermal vent systems, some spewing superheated water at over 750 degrees Fahrenheit. These vents, you see, support unique ecosystems teeming with life, from giant tube worms stretching several feet long to strange, translucent amphipods. Deep Scan also confirmed the extraordinary age of some rock formations dating back over 160 million years. It showed evidence of ancient volcanic activity that shaped the trench over unimaginable timescales, showcasing a geological history far more dynamic than previously understood. What many overlooked is that the AI wasn't just observing, it was learning, connecting dots no human could. But the real oh no moment began when DeepScan started analyzing seismic data and unusual acoustic signatures. Researchers had always noted peculiar low-frequency sounds emanating from the deepest parts of the Challenger Deep, the Mariana Trench's lowest point. These sounds were often dismissed as geological rumblings or interference from distant seismic events. However, DeepScan, with its unparalleled ability to filter noise and identify subtle patterns, flagged these sounds as something else entirely. It wasn't random. There was a rhythm, a regularity that defied natural explanation. The AI correlated these acoustic patterns with an astonishing discovery in the seismic imaging, geometric structures embedded deep within the trench's rock layers. We're talking about formations that looked, to put it mildly, unnatural. These formations weren't just simple cubes or spheres. DeepScan's three-dimensional rendering showed complex, interlocking shapes spanning hundreds of feet far below the visible seabed, almost 6,000 feet beneath the ocean floor. The scale was immense, dwarfing any known natural geological feature. The AI's analysis suggested these structures were not merely formations, but engineered creations. They were made of materials that, according to DeepScan's spectral analysis, contained elements not commonly found in such concentrations on Earth's surface or even deep within its crust. We're talking about isotopes and compounds that hinted at an origin far removed from Earth's typical geological processes. The most shocking fact is that these structures seem to be active, albeit subtly. The low-frequency sounds previously dismissed were emanating from them. What could these objects be, and who or what put them there? This revelation was just the beginning of a truly unsettling puzzle. A deeper, darker understanding. 
As DeepScan continued its relentless analysis, the data grew increasingly perplexing and, frankly, disturbing. The geometric structures weren't isolated. You can see this everywhere the AI scanned in the deepest parts of the trench. They formed a vast interconnected network stretching for miles along the ocean floor and even further down into the mantle. This network, according to the AI's models, acted as a kind of colossal suboceanic energy grid. The low-frequency sounds weren't just noise, they were rhythmic pulses, signals that seemed to be traveling through this hidden infrastructure. The sheer scale and complexity defied any known human engineering, past or present. Many people are crazy about ancient civilizations, but this was something else entirely, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. The AI's deep dive into the material composition of these structures revealed metals with crystalline patterns unlike anything synthesized by humankind, boasting incredible strength and stability under extreme pressure. Imagine a material that not only resists the crushing force of seven miles of water, but actually seems to thrive in it, conducting energy efficiently without degradation. That's what DeepScan was reporting. The energy signatures detected were faint but consistent, suggesting a power source that was both ancient and incredibly advanced, possibly utilizing geothermal energy from the Earth's core in a way we can't even dream of. The thing nobody tells you is that our planet might be more alive, or rather used in ways we haven't imagined. DeepScan's next crucial step involved analyzing anomalies in the gravitational field around these structures. Gravitational anomalies are usually explained by dense rock formations or shifting tectonic plates. However, the AI identified patterns that didn't fit standard geophysical models. It suggested that the structures themselves were somehow manipulating local gravitational forces, creating pockets of slightly reduced pressure around them. While tiny, these pockets could explain why certain delicate deep-sea organisms thrive near these structures, seemingly unaffected by the crushing weight of the water. To put it mildly, this suggested a level of environmental control that was nothing short of miraculous, if unsettling. The revelation of an artificial active network deep within the Mariana Trench led to a desperate search for its origin. DeepScan began analyzing every available geological and oceanographic data set looking for clues. It delved into ancient seismic records, oceanic crust formation patterns, and even paleomagnetic data. What it uncovered was even more unsettling. The AI proposed that these structures were not recently built, but incredibly old, predating human civilization by millions, perhaps even hundreds of millions of years. The most shocking fact is that the network showed signs of deliberate intelligent placement, not natural formation. This wasn't a natural wonder, it was an ancient installation. Furthermore, the AI's predictive models based on the observed energy flows and rhythmic pulses suggested a function for this network. It wasn't just sitting there, it appeared to be monitoring something or perhaps stabilizing something. The data pointed to a slow, methodical collection of subtle planetary data, potentially related to Earth's internal movements, magnetic field, or even the biosphere itself. What many overlooked is that these structures weren't just objects, they were instruments. But for what purpose? And for whom? The idea that something unknown has been silently operating beneath our feet for geological eons is a concept that truly makes you rethink our place in the universe. Who built it? And what are their intentions? The answers DeepScan found next were far more chilling than any monster from the deep. An ancient oversight. The burning question, the one that kept researchers awake at night, was clear. Who or what constructed such an immense and ancient installation at the bottom of the world's deepest trench? DeepScan turned its analytical power to this very query, sifting through millions of data points, cross-referencing everything from meteorite impacts to subtle changes in Earth's axial tilt over millennia. The AI couldn't provide a definitive who, but it did offer a truly disturbing theory based on the patterns it found. The thing nobody tells you is that sometimes the lack of an answer is the answer itself. The AI's models indicated that the structures were designed with an intelligence vastly superior to anything humanity has ever developed. The engineering principles, the material science, the energy harnessing, it all pointed to a civilization or entity that operates on a completely different technological paradigm. 
What many overlooked is that the uniformity and resilience of the network despite millions of years of tectonic shifts and geological upheaval, suggested a profound understanding of planetary dynamics. It's as if the builders anticipated every possible challenge our planet could throw at their creation, building it to last almost forever. DeepScan also analyzed the signals emanating from the network more closely. It was not a language in any human sense, nor was it simple data transmission. Instead, the AI characterized it as a complex, self-maintaining algorithmic sequence, constantly adapting and recalibrating. It was a form of intelligent programming that allowed the network to repair itself, optimize its energy usage, and even adapt to geological changes over vast stretches of time. To put it mildly, this implied an autonomous system, one that didn't require constant direct intervention from its creators, this raises an even more chilling question. Are the builders still around? The most shocking fact is that DeepScan's analysis of the network's long-term operational patterns suggested a primary function that sent chills down the spines of the research team. The network wasn't just observing Earth, it was subtly influencing it. Not in a destructive way, but in a way that seemed to guide certain planetary processes. The AI models showed correlations between the network's activity and minor shifts in deep sea currents, subtle influences on nutrient distribution, and even slight adjustments to hydrothermal activity over millions of years. You see, it was like a gardener tending to a vast, complex garden, ensuring certain conditions were met, maintaining a delicate balance. This revelation completely overturned the long-held belief that the Mariana Trench was an untouched, primordial environment. Instead, DeepScan painted a picture of a meticulously managed, perhaps even cultivated, part of our planet. The implications are enormous. If an unknown entity has been subtly managing aspects of Earth for eons, what does that mean for natural evolution, for our own species development? Have we been living on a planet under the unseen stewardship of something profoundly ancient and powerful? And what happens if that stewardship ends or changes? The next set of deep scans findings were even more unsettling, hinting at a very present danger. The uncomfortable truth about our future, the revelation that the Mariana Trench contained an ancient, autonomous, and planetary influencing network was alarming enough. But deep scans final, most urgent data stream revealed something far worse. The network was failing. The rhythmic pulses, once stable, showed increasing signs of irregularity. Energy fluctuations were becoming more frequent, and sections of the geometric structures deep within the Earth were showing signs of degradation, not from natural forces, but from some unknown internal stress. The thing nobody tells you is that even ancient powerful systems have limits. Deep scans, predictive models, calibrated with data spanning millions of years, calculated a critical failure point within the next few decades, perhaps even sooner. This wasn't a gradual decay, it was a cascade, a systemic breakdown that would have catastrophic consequences. The AI projected that without the subtle stabilizing influence of this network, the delicate balance it maintained would unravel. You can see this everywhere in the simulations. Uncontrolled geological activity, drastic shifts in deep ocean currents, and unpredictable changes in oceanic chemistry. To put it mildly, the impact on Earth's climate and ecosystems would be immense, potentially rendering much of the planet unrecognizable. The most shocking fact is that DeepScan also identified a human connection to this impending disaster. While the network was ancient, humanity's relentless exploration and exploitation of the oceans, particularly deep sea mining and seismic surveys, were contributing to its accelerated decay. The subtle vibrations, the disruptions to the ocean floor, the pollution, all were acting as stressors on a system never designed to withstand such interference. What many overlooked is that our presence, even in seemingly distant parts of the ocean, has a ripple effect that touches the deepest, most sensitive structures. Many people are crazy about expanding human reach, but sometimes that reach has unforeseen and dire consequences. DeepScan's final reports were not just a scientific warning, they were a desperate plea. The AI highlighted that humanity, by inadvertently disturbing this ancient system, was hastening its demise and thus our own potential planetary reckoning. 
The AI proposed that if the network collapsed, the resultant geological and oceanic upheaval would be unlike anything seen in recorded history, dwarfing even the most severe natural disasters. The network had been silently safeguarding a fragile planetary equilibrium, and our actions were unknowingly dismantling it. The question now becomes, how do we as a species respond to a threat so vast, so ancient, and so intertwined with our own unintended actions? The Mariana Trench mystery isn't just solved, it's a ticking clock, a stark reminder that some discoveries come with a heavy, terrifying price. The truth unearthed by Google AI isn't good, and it leaves us on the precipice of an unknown future. The gravity of DeepScan's findings about the Mariana Trench network, its ancient origins, its planetary influence, and its impending failure cannot be overstated. We are confronted with a colossal problem, a secret unearthed by artificial intelligence that fundamentally alters our understanding of Earth and our place on it. What many overlooked is that the deepest reaches of our planet have held secrets far beyond our wildest imaginings, and now those secrets are demanding attention. The scientific community grappling with DeepScan's data faces an unprecedented challenge. How do you explain to the world that an ancient, unknown intelligence has been subtly managing parts of our planet and that our own activities are now threatening to undo its work, leading to potentially catastrophic consequences? The thing nobody tells you is that sometimes the truth is harder to accept than the mystery. This isn't just about preserving the deep ocean, it's about safeguarding Earth's very stability, a balance we never knew existed. The truth from the Mariana Trench is out, revealing an ancient failing system. What future awaits us now? Like and subscribe if this deep dive blew your mind.